half double crochets into the row ends and the cups are joined I'm going to work on the first of my side straps so what we're going to do is we're going to chain so I've got my last stitch is right into that last row on the end just there so I've got 46 stitches across now to make the side strap and to make all the straps what you're going to do is you're going to chain a length that will sort of tie comfortably behind you so that's for the neck and for around just this back area as well um, for me each one is going to be 120 chains um, the reason I'm doing the extra 20 um, it would just be 100 but because when you double back when you slip stitch back down the chain which is what we're going to do it shortens the length of the chain so just do that so chain a length um, and I'd say just add an extra 20 chains to it because that's what it's going to reduce <coughs> that's the size that it's going to reduce okay so chaining what was it 120 so straight from that stitch is chain one two three four five and I'm going to go away and I'm going to chain 120 all right and here is my chain of 120 so that's like that now what we're going to do is we're going to slip stitch down each chain or along each chain into each chain all the way back to the beginning so let's focus and and skipping that first chain obviously from the hook just going to the second one along and slip stitch just like that and we're going to do that into every chain all the way back down to the beginning and once we reach that stage we're going to meet back up again and I'm going to show you what we're going to do next okay see you soon alright now as you can see I've slip stitched all the way back down the length of that chain back to the beginning so what I'm going to do next is grab some more yarn and then into that same place where I put my last half double crochet for that row end <coughs> I'm going to put a single crochet so there's where the stitch is and just going into there single crochet just like that and then working our way back up the side just here we're going to be putting single crochets into every stitch all the way till you get up to the chain one at the top of the cup so just into the sides where are we single crochets so just like this all the way till you get to that chain one where you will single crochet into the chain one followed by chaining a length whatever length it is that you want the strap to be that goes around your neck ties up behind your neck for me it's going to be 120 again and then you will slip stitch all the way back down to the beginning of the chain again just like with this one and you'll put another uh, single crochet into that chain space then work your single crochets back down this side just here but I'm going to meet back up with you at all the steps and we'll just go through it together because because it's the right thing to do so we're going to do that alright so I'm going to meet you when we get to the top just there um, yep see you soon we are at the chain space so I've got single, single crocheted all the way up till that point I just also wanted to mention um, because we're working on the side of the cup that we wouldn't normally be working on because remember we were turning um, turning the work every time we chained up and did another row <clears throat> so because of that, because we're working with the braided side facing towards us, see, normally it would be this side facing, that's not part of the braid, but this side facing towards us. So because of that, when you get to the chain one, you're going to think that that is an extra stitch, but it's not. So don't go into that one just there before the chain one. Just leave that one because it's not a stitch you would normally go into. Anyway, okay, so just wanted to point that out. So here we are at the chain one. And what we do is we single crochet into that, followed by a chain of however many you want to do. And here is that chain. And so once again, we're going to skip that first chain from the hook and slip stitch into the second chain from the hook. So that one just there. 
slip stitching into the second chain and every chain all the way back to the beginning of the chain. Here we are back at the beginning of the chain and like I said we're going to put another single crochet into that chain space just next to the one we've already done and single crochets into each stitch down till we reach the join for the cups so I'll meet you at that join so it's yeah a single crochet into each stitch all the way down to that spot right now that I've reached the middle I've single crocheted all the way down the side there and I'm up to the join I'm going to just single crochet into that first stitch on the other cup so where we've already put that half double crochet just there into the sort of row end part we're going to single crochet into that same stitch so just single crochet like that so let's just join and then we're going to be working a single crochet into each stitch all the way we till we get up to the top just there where there's that chain space chain one space and we're going to do the same we're going to single crochet into that followed by however many chains it is you want to do 120 and then slip stitch all the way back down to the beginning of that chain single crochet again into the same space then you'll put your single crochets all the way back down the other side but I'm going to meet back up with you here so just to show you where you should put your last single crochet followed by that chain and then another single crochet and we'll start work on the body okay so I'll leave you till we get to that stage on the other side and yeah we'll go from there So I told you I'd meet back up with you before the last chain. I just wanted to make sure that you got your last single crochet down the end there, just right into the last stitch, right down the end. Um, I don't know why you would have done that anyway. So yeah, that's all I wanted to say. Okay. <laughs> so now we're just going to do our last chain, and then we're going to slip stitch back along that. Single crochet again into that last stitch where you've already single crocheted. And then we're going to start work on the body. Okay, see you soon. Right, now here I am back at the beginning of that chain. Now instead of doing the single crochet like I said back into that same stitch what we're actually going to do is we're going to slip stitch just to close up what we've been doing just slip stitch into that stitch that you've already put your single crochet into so that one just there slip stitch just like that. There we go and we've completed the top so that's all finished now. Alright now we're going to start work on the body and to do that we're going to begin increases right away but first we're going to chain up two and then into that same stitch that we just slip stitched into we're going to put one double crochet one double crochet then in the next stitch we're going to put two double crochets into the same stitch so one and two then going along all the stitches to the other end, double crochets, we're going to put double crochets into each stitch along till you get to the second last stitch where you're going to put two double crochets into that second last stitch and then one double crochet into the last stitch. I'm going to make, meet back up with you at that point and we'll do it together and then we'll work on doing the next row. Okay, see you soon. Here I am at the second last stitch, so once again we put two double crochets into that second last stitch, same with the second stitch, two double crochets in the same stitch, and then into the last stitch just one double crochet, and that one might be a little bit tricky because that's the beginning of that chain, but you want to get into that one so that it's level with the side, so just there, level, see? Alright, so you finished that row. Now, to start the next row, you're going to chain two and turn the work. And then double crochet into the first stitch, which is that one just there beneath the chain. So one. And then into the second stitch along, two double crochets into the same stitch. So one, two. Then working a double crochet into every stitch till you get to the second last stitch where you're going to put two double crochets into the same stitch and then one double crochet into the final stitch 
And this is what we do. And we're going to continue doing this until you've grown this length to about your belly button. So what you're going to want to do now is you're going to want to try this on and do up the straps for the neck. So it's like the halter part of the neck. You're going to want to do that up um, because you're going to be wanting to try this on so that you can, you know, figure out where it reaches your belly button as you go. So yeah, that's what you can you can do that, or you can just hold it against yourself, you know, either way. Um, but I find it would probably be best, or I find it's best if you do up the straps behind your neck first, so you can just keep trying it on. Oh man, I'm going on a lot at the moment, aren't I? Uh, kind of rambling. Well, to stop myself from rambling, I'm going to finish up here, and we're going to continue doing what I said crocheting this to the length of your belly button. Continuing with the increases, which is two double crochets into both the second and the second last stitch of every row. Yeah, and I'll meet back up with you when we've reached the length to our belly button and I will tell you where to go from there. Okay, see you soon. Alright, now that we've crocheted to our belly button, we're going to chain a length that wraps around our back and joins at the other end and you want to do it sort of snug but comfortable like don't do it too tight but don't do it too loose so chaining length try it on and measure it as you go all right now i've chained a length just here and picking up the other end of the row i'm just going to slip stitch into that last stitch on the end or the beginning. But slip stitch into that stitch just like this. Just like that. There we go. Now from here we chain up two and we turn. Now instead of going into the V of the stitch, so you see on top, sorry, of the chain, on the top side of the chain there's a V, but you're not going to go into any part of that. You're going to turn the chain over, like this, and you'll see there's a bump. The third part of the chain is the bump on the back, and you're going to be working into that. So, the first one can be a little tricky, but we'll give it a go. What I actually do when this one's a little bit tricky, I get a really small crochet hook, like a 2mm, my 2mm and yarn over. I use that to go into that little first one because the first one can be a little bit tight but the rest are fine like if you just sort of stick with it, persevere. It's also quite fiddly as you are probably noticing. Oh, come on little bump. So annoying. Yep, there we go. Yeah. Just like that, so that first one's just a bit two millimeter, but that's fine. All right, there we go. And switching back to the three point five, you just work all your double crochets into that bump on the back. Where are we? There we are. All right, so next one along, just there, and do that into each bump on the back all the way till you get to the end of the chain. And I'll meet back up with you at that point, and we'll talk about how to complete the round. Okay, now that I've put all my double crochets into that chain, and I just wanted to show you that the reason I did it into that back bump instead of the V on top was because... It's all twisted. No. was because it gives you a nice braided edge instead of if you did it into the V on top, which would just give you the normal edge. Um, but this one looks neater. I just think it looks nice. So yeah, that's what it does. Gives you a nice neat edge. Alright, so straight from here we're just going to finish the round by putting double crochets into the remaining stitches around. So just like that, into all the stitches. And once you get to the end of the round you're going to slip stitch into the top of the chain 2 from the beginning chain another two and turn the work and then double crochets back in the opposite direction. Uh, now when we get to that point I'm going to meet back up with you because I want to show you something. 
that I forgot to show you just then. Okay, so I'll meet back up with you at that point, and yes. Here I am at the end of the round, and I'm just going to slip stitch into the top of that chain two from the beginning, just like this. There we go. And we chain up two, so one and two, and then we turn the work. Now, I couldn't show you this before because we were double crocheting back into the chain, but what you do from now on for the rounds is don't put your first stitch into that stitch directly beneath the chain. You put it into the next one along. And the reason you're going to be doing this is because the last stitch will be into the joining stitch just at the end here. So see where that one joins? Just let me get my hook out. And also, yeah. So your last stitch will be into that one, just there. The joining stitch. I really hope you can see that. So just into there. So that'll be your last stitch for every round. Now what I'm doing from here is... I want this to be a fairly fitted, fairly straight down top. Um, and also when I go to make it a dress, I want the skirt to be fairly sort of straight rather than ruffled. But... Um, you can do it any way you want, but for this design, yes. Okay, so what I do, especially now, and even with the top, I'm going to be doing four rounds of just straight rounds with no increase, and then every fifth round is going to be increases on every 20th stitch. So there'll be two double crochets into every 20th stitch around for the fifth round. Um, so I'll do that a couple of times. I think, or however long. So yeah, you can do this top however long you need it to be, however, however long you want it to be. You might want to just stop after this round, or you know, whatever you want to do. That's the great thing about this, it's so, just so adaptable to what you want, and I really love that. Okay, so yeah, that's what we're doing. Um, but like I said, yes, for me it's every 20th stitch. Um, for two double crochets into the same stitch. But if you wanted to have like a uh, more apparent increase uh, widening straight away, you might want to do every tenth stitch. Yes, you might want to do that. Okay, so double crochets all the way around, slip stitching into the top of the chain two, chaining up two, turn the work, double crochets back in the other direction. It's just really as easy as that. So I'm not sure if I will be doing the dress tutorial with this particular thing or I'll be using a different yarn and just starting from scratch by doing the top as well as the skirt. I probably should actually. Probably makes more sense. But I will be turning this one into a dress so I'll post pictures or you know whatever like that so you can see how it turns out. Yes, so that's very exciting. Alright, so we'll go away and we'll finish up our tops and then at the end when it's all done we'll try them on and we'll see how they look. I'm sure they'll look lovely. I really love this design, and I really hope that you love it as well when you're finished with it. Uh, I don't think I don't know if I've said this before, but that's annoying. But um, if you want to send me pictures of the designs that you've made, if you've made them, I would love to see them, and I'd love to share them. Um, maybe on Instagram, and also on my posts on YouTube, uh, just to show everybody how everybody's going. Because that would be fun. And, yes. <laughs> so please, please send me pictures. I'd love to see it. Alright, I'll see you soon when we try on our tops. Okay. Alright, and here it is, all finished. So as you can see, this has been a super, super basic top to make. There's really not much to it. Super basic, but super pretty. I really love this design. I think it looks really good. Um... So yeah, it's very, very comfortable as well. I've already worn this one out in public, and I can tell you it's it's good. It's good. It's just easy to wear. Uh, yeah, so there's that. I have another couple of designs that I'm working on which are based off this halter neck uh, bikini style theme. And I'm really looking forward to filming those. Okay, yes. So, if you've liked this video, please feel free to give it a like. If you would like to join me for some more fun and you haven't subscribed yet, please feel free to subscribe. I would love to have you join me. And uh, yes, I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. Thank you for watching and I'll see you soon.